Hey guys, happy day three, one, five. Captain's log, star date, Sunday, January 24th, 2021. Happy Sunday to you. As you know, Sunday is a fun day unless you're a Green Bay fan or a Buffalo Bill fan. Otherwise, today was a good day. Um, had to work a little bit this morning. Um, had two appointments this morning. Then I was able to get my walk in before it got too crazy cold and wet. Uh, then I was able to enjoy some football uh, with the family here. A little chili, some hot wings, like a pre-party really for the Super Bowl, which will probably be just me and my family again, right? No big blowout parties like we've had in the past uh, because of everything going on, obviously. But uh, it was a good day. How was your day? Um, I was not able to get as long of a walk as I wanted. I was timing it between work and... And uh, the football game, and maybe I should have snuck out in between. But like the first game ended, and like the next game started within like fifteen or twenty minutes. It was it was crazy close the way those games uh, kicked off today. Uh, both super entertaining, very fun games to watch. Um, I felt they were both super close all the way up to the end. Even though Buffalo needed two scores to win, they just had a little bit of momentum going on their end. Uh, but anyway, guys, happy Sunday, uh, birthdays. My Sabrina, Mickey, Mickey Elder, we love you. Happy birthday. Hope you had a great day. Spoke to you a little bit earlier today. It sounded like you did have a, a, a great day. Um, Barbara Lyons, local uh, celebrity here in the Richmond District. Happy birthday to you. Uh, and lastly, uh, South City Road Dog, Greg, the man from Down Under. Every time I hear the word Down Under, makes me think of men down under, men at work, uh, again, that's like an 80s flashback for me. Um, I don't even know if most of you out there even know who the men at work are. I don't think they've put out an album in 25, 30 years. I don't know. Uh, anyway, Greg, happy birthday to you. Uh, National Days. National Peanut Butter Day. National Mac Computer Day. I'm a big Mac fan. National Compliment Day. You look great. National Green Juice Day, uh, which kind of goes hand in hand, National Beer Can Appreciation Day, which goes along with this day in history in 1935 was the first time they ever sold a canned beer. First time ever before, I guess it was all just in the kegs. But here's the thing I wanted to mention about canned beers. I've been doing a lot of drinking of beers lately at the Baboa Theater, and they're all small run craft beers. You know, they may only make a couple, you know, dozen cases at a time, right? But what they do now, and I'm sure you guys have seen this, anyone that's uh, drinking craft beer, is instead of printing on the can like they like a like a Budweiser does or uh, any beer, right? Any can of beer you have, Paps Blue Ribbon, Ankerstein, whatever you can find in a can, it's printed, right? Nowadays what they do is they have a sticker and they just basically take a silver can uh, brushed aluminum can, if you will, and they wrap a sticker around it. I think it's the smartest, coolest, because that way these guys that are small, I'm sure printing on a can is super expensive, right? But slapping a label on that bad boy, buying the cans, you know, at huge quantities, and then slapping labels for different type of beers, um, whether it be an IPA or a sour or whatever, I think it's a great idea. Um, so let me know if you guys have noticed that as well stickers on beer cans and it wraps all the way around so if you don't really pay attention you might not even know it's a sticker but you can kind of feel it right uh anyway so happy national beer appreciation day as well as this day in history 1935 first canned beer sold useless trivia maybe you'll 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 need it one day when you're on jeopardy or at a bar uh, also 1848 gold was discovered at sutter mill Anybody who has kids, especially here in San Francisco and maybe throughout the Bay Area, in fourth grade, fourth grade, right? In no, it was fifth grade. Fourth or fifth grade, I forget at this time. Uh, you would take a trip to Sacramento. You'd visit Sutter Mill. You'd visit the Capitol. You'd visit Old Sac. It was just kind of a, it was a fun field trip. You left in the morning on a nice Greyhound bus with movie screens and reclining chairs, and you spent all day in Sacramento, and you were home by four-ish. So we have been to the Sutter Mill at least twice. My youngest daughter, because of COVID and no school, did not get to take that trip, unfortunately. Uh, but I've been up there a couple times, 
And uh, when I saw this Sutter Mill history thing, I definitely had to uh, mention it today in our video. It was a good week for me, guys. I hope it was a good week for you, too. I'm looking forward to finishing off January strong. Next weekend, no football, a little break from the action. And then the following week, we're going to kick it in with the Super Bowl. Let me know what you guys are going to do. Um, you can't really have a Super Bowl Zoom party. That's not going to work. Um, we were actually going to have my family over to watch the game in the yard, but it's been wet and cold all day. That not it would have not worked out. It was a kind of a non-starter. So we'll have to see how the weather for the Super Bowl goes. Maybe we'll sit in my dad's driveway again, you know, outside or in the backyard, um, get a bunch of junk food. Although I ate more junk food today probably than I have in months. Um, or a month, I should say. I've really been trying to, with this walking every day and trying to be healthy. Buffalo wings, right? It's not something I eat all the time. Uh, but anyway, it was a great day. I had a good time. I hope you guys did too. Happy day. 315. Look for big things next week. Push yourself. Live your best life. Hopefully, you guys have retained all those uh, resolutions that you made. Do you want to say hi? Hi. Everyone was so proud of you putting together that little book fair for your sister. They thought that was the cutest, most adorable thing they've ever seen. Thank you. Did you have fun doing it? Yeah. And I didn't have fun putting it away. Oh my God, there's a lot of books. A lot of books to put away. All right, you want to say goodbye? Want a hashtag or anything? No, I don't know them. You don't know the hashtags? I don't do it. Hashtag 415. <laughs> Strong. Hashtag 415 together. Boom. There you go. All right. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.